Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to talk about how to get your first legendary set. It's actually a really good set in Starfield and I'd say one of the best starter ships. Even call this a legendary starter ship to be perfectly honest. Called the Razor Leaf. I might call it the Mantis too. Uh, but yes, this is such a good ship and it's so early game so there's going to be no spoilers here. We're going to give you the bare minimum to go find this. We're going to let you figure out all the puzzles and stuff but this is for people that are getting started today because this should be out in time for Game Pass when this hits for you guys. And also, anybody that's been playing Starfield up to this point and you haven't gotten the ship, it's so good. You might as well get it. The Razor Leaf and your first legendary set. And let's not forget the little trick to save before you actually go in the room and pick this up. And you can re-roll your legendary set until you get something you really like. Okay, so as I said, no spoilers here. But there is, um, there is a mission involved with this that's considered quote-unquote main quest. But honestly, most people that have played this would say this is like tutorial level quest. I mean, I've barely progressed in the main quest, and so, like, there is just one minor piece that you need for this before you can actually unlock this location. So, let's walk through it. All right, in order to uh, start this, you do need to be in the quest called Old Neighborhood, and Sarah does that. And again, I'm not giving anything away. That was all in Starfield Direct. You know who Sarah is, and she's going to walk you around the solar system, and I'm going to show you where this is at. So, hopefully, this all makes sense. Because it was a little confusing for me to find this. And, like, it's hard to know, like, when this particular thing triggers because you have to do it during a mission. So, uh, we do start off in Alpha Centauri. And I'm going to move over there. Okay. And eventually she's going to take you. So, New Atlantis is on Alpha Centauri. She's going to take you up to the Soul System, which is essentially our system in real life. Right here. And when you do, you're going to be brought to Old Earth, which is right up here. And then our moon, which in this game is called Luna. You'll see like the Apollo landing. So when you're doing this mission and this mission over here where you're doing the station called Star... What is it called? I got to get in closer. Star Star Station. Um, you want to make sure that you're looting all the bodies to find a note. And again, to get on Star Station, you just jump to this location, find the station itself, target it, and then get close enough, and then dock with it. And loot everything, and st specifically look for notes. Because this will only pop up when you're in Old Neighborhood, and that note will only pop up then. And then once you have the note itself, then you have to go to the notes and you have to read it for this location to show up. And it's called Secret Outpost. It's in alphabetical order, and it's right here. You just hit the Action button. Boom, and it says, hey, uh, go to Denoba IB. If you have the Pioneer, which I would assume most of us do when you're getting started, what you want to do, we'll go back to the star map. We're going to back up. And uh, this was confusing for me, too, in the beginning. I was like, say what now? Let me back up. So we start off in Alpha Centauri. You can see the blue marker. That's where we're going to end up. So here's the thing. You're going to have to make multiple jumps. So again, you can zoom back. You can also move your cursor, your thumbstick around until you see these. You're going to jump to Olympus. Then you're going to jump to Vol 2. Then you're going to jump to Pro, Pro Ma, Ma, Mira, Myra. I don't know how to say that. And then you're going to jump up to Denoba. When you do, when you're inside of here, you should see the quest because you've read it. It should be outside of here, and it's called Denoba IB. And once you zoom in on the planet, you'll see a marker on the surface of the planet, if you did it correctly, called Lair of the Mantis. That's where we are currently. So when you do this particular mission, bring, well, bring some space because you're going to be looting a lot. But make sure you've got a decent amount of meds. And I'm going to give you one little tip here. Bring an amp, okay? Then make sure you've got plenty of bullets for multiple weapons. Even bring your mining laser because if you run out, the mining laser is a nice clutch weapon that just, it, its ammo is waiting for it to recharge. So in a clutch, you've got that. So yeah, it's a big deal. So once you're through here, you want to make sure that you're looting as much as you can. Bring your companion to loot mule with that person. And then when you get to the end puzzle, again, I'm not going to spoil it for you. Just pay attention to all the dialogue and the little notes that are happening during the actual mission you should be able to figure out what it is and again if you want a little tip uh, just bring that amp and that'll help you out if you're having a hard time with the puzzle just saying you'll be able to figure it out once you work your way down the tunnel make sure you're saving as you go but make them separate saves don't just rely on auto save because there might be some points where you want to reload and see what the role is for the mantis gear uh, when you do eventually come in you'll be super excited to go get the razor leaf but before you do go find the living quarters in the back here loot all the goodies there's a lot of little hidden stuff everywhere, so just pick it all up. And then when you get back here, you're going to see, past the bedroom, 
there's a mannequin here that has the first legendary gear that you're going to have, and it's actually really good. And again, if you don't like to roll on it, you can always hit that save point before you entered this room. You should be able to see it again. So we've got oh, the, the spacesuit, the pack, and the helmet. And it does come with a bit of reputation as well. Also, don't forget to go back here. There's tons of loot back here. Let me show you what my helmet looks like when I've got it on. Pretty sweet, right? And man, this gear is so good to get you started, but like, so is the ship. It's got excellent range. It's got good cargo space. It's just, it's so money. So actually, when you get back here, you go back out. You're going to flick the switch. And then if you're not totally encumbered, you can go back to the surface because it actually pushes it up to the pad. And I saved the moment here for you so we can actually do it together. Hold me, Jack. Hold me. So the Razor Leaf is such a great starter ship and a fantastic addition to the fleet. It is my starter ship of choice, so is the legendary gear. If you're looking for ways to sell contraband or even make credits, farm credits in Starfield, be sure to check out the video on the end screen now, and hopefully we'll see you in the next live stream slash video. Love you, bye!